مدد درامیه هم محمد رسول الله I am May Salum Kass I am from Venezuela I was born in Caracas in the capital but then we moved to a place uh, where which is Puerto La Cruz where there is beach and all of this so I was raised my my first years were there the first until the six uh, until I was six I studied in a in a Catholic school I, it was uh, okay I didn't know anything about uh, my own religion and all of this. The only thing that I knew is that I didn't know how to pray the way that they did. So <laughs> it was, um, but I I have good memories of it. I mean, I had a good relationship with the, with the, with all the North. My family is from Lebanon. My grandfather. The father of my mother, he emigrated from Lebanon to Venezuela when there was uh, the war and uh, all of this. He didn't know. I mean, he was uh, he had to escape the country because he was going to to be taken to to jail and this, and uh, because he was involved in political activities. And uh, well, he took a ship to South America and he get out of it in Venezuela without knowing anything. In general, in Venezuela, the people that have emigrated are very much integrated with the Venezuelan people. So it's uh, it's all a mixture. For example, yeah, the, the traditions, everything is mixed between the part taken from Lebanon and uh, what they found in Venezuela and all of this. I am here in England studying a master's in social and global justice. The mainly is, is people from from different countries, British, Pakistan, Japan, China, and uh, from other countries in Europe or the U.S. Um, yeah, I, I I think it's it's a very rich country in sense of the of the variety of people, the variety of culture. I think I like that uh, here the um, the Islamic community is is very well respected. The, this is what I feel is is uh, the Islamic community is well organized. They ha they have good uh, organization. I studied um, in Venezuela modern languages. I like more literature and this and culture. One person has one value, one person has another value. Okay, so somebody might have the value, any reason why she gets so much. Does she get so much because since 20% have all the power? And, uh, I thought about studying, for example, here Middle Eastern studies that I said, well, a bit related to, there are some subjects related to Islam and this. But uh, then I, and in fact, I applied at first for this, for Middle Eastern Studies. But then I saw the this title, the Social and Global Justice, and I said, well, it goes more with the, with the, with Islam and with what I want. Well, when I was coming here, I, I one of the main issues was where I was going to live. And uh, I saw, for example, the accommodations of the university and this, they were extremely, extremely expensive. And um, it was good that they gave us uh, the contacts of the people, some people that were standing here. And uh, I wrote to them asking for some recommendations and this. And um, yeah, I, I was a bit, uh, I didn't know how to 
introduce myself, like uh, if I should mention that I'm Muslim or, or what. So I just said, okay, I, I am vegetarian. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't uh, drink or you see. But uh, I didn't. Um, I was uncertain to say that. Of course, when and they said, okay, we didn't arrange completely something. But I didn't have any other option. I mean, the other places were extremely expensive for for me, and uh, and it was uncertain as well. And uh, there there was no no place where I can stay as soon as I arrived because I arrived after the the week of uh, its induction, the induction week that the in which the university provides accommodation. And, I usually come here. It makes me very, very happy to walk in Bison. There is a lot of people uh, that come to walk. Everybody is uh, with their own affairs. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, it's very fresh. It's not like a big city, but it has all the facilities. People is uh, very friendly. I like it. In, in some places, for example, next there is a bakery. Sometimes, uh, some Saturdays or something, I go there to buy something and then have breakfast in any house of, uh, of my friends. Well, my family, uh, I think they, they, they were not so religious. In fact, I didn't know that there were Sunnah or Shia, but until until I was in university, to be honest, until I was like uh, in my twenties. Before, I didn't I didn't have any idea. Of course, we are uh, we are four children, two brothers and two two girls, and uh, in in the prayings and all of this, there are the differences of things that the men can do, the women cannot do, the women behind. So. Honestly, I didn't like it, and I didn't feel identified with uh, with it at all. I mean, for example, why do I have to wear hijab and why they don't? Why I I had to wear only to pray, not to go outside. But a lot of things annoyed me very much that were related to to religion. But uh, yeah, for example. That uh, a lot of things that my brothers c could do and I couldn't, and my father said no because this is our religion. And I said, well, I cannot accept, I cannot accept this. So I had, uh, I think, in my childhood, I had a lot of uh, problems uh, accepting yes. accepting Islam and this. Okay, I I prayed sometimes and this, but it was it was not um, like. Uh, that I really sometimes these moments of faith and this, but uh, not uh, not something constant or that I really understood. We we were going to 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 the mosque to to attend um, the praying, some worship, and I I had uh, many friends as well in the mosque, especially friends who were Venezuelan, and then later converted to Islam. So, of course, I didn't understand. <laughs> I was telling them, okay, if you are free, <laughs> you have all of this freedom. Nobody tells you what to do. I mean, why do you choose to be Muslim? I mean, <laughs> I uh, and uh, for them it was like, oh, because I found freedom <laughs> in Islam and uh, they... Uh, yeah, I mean, so, so I said, well, the, it's something that I am not getting right, maybe. And uh, it's it's something that, uh, yeah, that I, that, I, that I have to search more to see because it's uh, it cannot be possible that something for, for once is, is too bad and for others is, is too good. <laughs> Our educational institutions. When we draw on our principles, we should be driven by our principles. This day of Juma, we 
don't need no advertising to drum up. Sometimes when we went out together, we, as we were a group of girls, then I said, okay, let me wear the hijab as well. So sometimes I, I, I wear it, sometimes not. But yeah, I mean, also my, my, my cousin, she was as well with, with us. And uh, it was, um, yeah, I think that the group of, of friends has a, an important uh, influence in, in these things. Of, of the religion, I, I knew that I I needed to to search more on this, and uh, especially, for example, in high school and in university, they were speaking, for example, sometimes about Islam, and uh, they portrayed it as something very bad. So of course, although I I didn't feel a deep love towards Islam and all of this. I I didn't like it that okay why why this is this uh, why people express themselves with so much uh, disrespect towards uh, our prophet and uh, also in university for example when they refer to to the Middle East or to for example Imam Khomeini always with these attempts of ridiculizing you see uh, yeah the the things related to Islam. So I, I well, I, I didn't feel okay with, with all of this, and uh, I said, well, I really have to know what is this. Uh, somebody might have that as their value, and I should point out, values are not right. I made uh, in my university my, my dissertation about the Muslim women that convert to, to Islam. I had to attend to the two different mosques, main mosques. Well, it's a it's a little house that is of the Shias and a big mosque of the Sunni. Okay, in the Shia place there was a there was a very good speaker, and uh, he was uh, from Argentina. He was also uh, born there and everything, and then he went to Iran and he studied and became a Czech and everything. But um, it was, uh, I think that because of the fact that he was already uh, South America, and then he discovered Islam, he knew how to transmit things. So it's not that he comes, for example, to speak, to say, uh, we have to pray five times a day, and uh, if you don't do that, you go to hell. It's like, <laughs> or uh, it's like more um, concerning to spirituality, to um, to the meaning of uh, of religion in our lives. What does religion add to our lives? Why is it important? Um, and it's uh, it's not directed. I mean, the topics that he chooses are not uh, directed exclusively for Muslims, but to anybody.